write this stuff down for? It's only gonna make a lot of guys unhappy. What I write in my book is my business. Now give it to me. Don't I get to hear my life story? Arnold, I beg you, don't read that. They're my private thoughts. If you take them, you steal from me. I gather then it's unflattering. Don't you know me by now, Gene? I can't be unflattered. I'm past it. However, if you don't want me to read it, I won't read it. But I don't think we'll be able to be truly honest with each other from this moment on. Put it back when you're through. <clears throat> well, don't we get to hear it? Arnold Epstein's constant and relentless pursuit of truth, logic, and reason fascinates me in the same proportion as his obstinacy and unnecessary heroics drive me to distraction. But I love him for it, in the same manner that I love Joe DiMaggio for making the gesture of catching a long fly ball to center. It seemed like the last miracle performed by God in modern times. But often I hold back showing my love and affection for Arnold because I think he might misinterpret it. It just happens to be my instinctive feeling that Arnold it is homosexual. And it bothers me that it bothers me. Who the hell turned this light out? Oh, Who's that? Right. Oh. God damn it, Lindstrom. Why didn't you tell the Army what you were and save the trouble of a court-martial? Who the hell was it? Private Lindstrom. Nervous young man. Will surely crack under the strain of interrogation. Therefore, if the guilty party in this room wishes to admit his indiscretion, he will not only lessen his sentence in Leavenworth prison, but will save this company what I promise you will be pain, anguish, and humiliation beyond the endurance of man. I take it that honor and integrity are traits not to be found anywhere in this company. Jerome. Yes, Sergeant? What would you do? In my place. Not in your place, Sergeant. I know you write down everything you see in that book of yours. Is there anything happened tonight that might be of interest to me? I was asleep, Sergeant. If you weren't, you wouldn't tell me anyway, would you? No, I don't think I would. The following soldier's name is called. He's requested to accompany the military police back to headquarters. Hennessy, James J. Well, what's, what's it about? It's a matter for you to discuss with the authorities. Come on, son. Come on, let's go get a beer. Arnold. Do 
Don't you want to go? Why do you think I'm a homosexual? I don't know. Maybe it's because you never once talked about a girl. I never talked about dogs either. Does that make me a cocker spaniel? I know. I'll never do it again. <laughs>